everyone, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make our new pattern. It's called the Summer Sherbert Sack Hat. It's a hat that's shaped like a square, has a fun texture to it, pom-poms on each corner, and it's made out of some of the new Red Heart yarns. This one is made out of the new Red Heart stripes. It's called Flamingo. And this one that is in the back here is made out of the new Red Heart Ombre. Now this one is mint, and this one here that I have is called True Blue. Now you can get the stripes in lots of different colors. Here's one called Bright Stripes. And these yarns are new Red Heart Super Saver yarns and they're worsted weight number four so you can use any worsted weight number four yarns to make these hats now this pattern is on my blog and i'll put that blog link in the notes underneath the video so all you need is about two and a half to three ounces of any worsted weight number four yarns you can even use a cotton as long as it's a number four for this hat. We're going to be stitching with our eye hook today. That's a 5.50 millimeter. You're going to need a needle for weaving in your ends. And you're also going to need a good sharp pair of scissors so that we can make pom poms. This is a great hat to use up some of your left or, uh, leftover worsted weight yarns if you have about half a skein or maybe a little over half a skein and it works great it works up fast and you can see this beautiful texture stitch but it's really really easy now it makes a nice lightweight hat and it's great for any time of the year spring summer winter or fall when there's just a little bit of a chill in the air or you just want a little bit of a fancy hat to wear Now this hat has five sizes included. You can make it in a baby, a toddler, a child, a youth, and an adult. The baby is 14 inches, the toddler 16, child 18, youth 20, and adult 22 inches. Now if your hat that you're wanting to make is smaller than 14 inches or larger than 22 inches, You'll need to adjust when we begin at the hat band, three rows equal one inch. On your hat band, three rows equal one inch. And I suggest you add in one inch increments or subtract in one inch increments in order for the rest of the pattern to work properly. For today's demonstration, we're going to be making the baby hat. And I'm going to be using this Red Heart Super Saver. This is called Primary. And I chose to use this one because it is colorful, but it's not a bright colorful, it's kind of a muted. And so it will work up really great because you remember you can use any worsted weight number four yarn. And you can also use any number four weight cotton for this pattern. We're going to begin first by stitching the hat band. We'll join the hat band and then we'll work our way up the hat. The first thing that we need to do is make a slip knot. And then we'll chain four chains. We're going to begin by stitching single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Here's our first chain. We'll go in our second chain, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through both loops. And then we'll stitch a single crochet in the next two chains. This will give us three single crochets. We're going to chain one, and the chain one does not count as a stitch, it's just a turning chain. 
to help our work just turn smoothly. Now we're going to be stitching in the back loops. The, on the top of your chains, you'll see two loops. The front loop is the loop that is facing you. The back loop is the loop that is facing away from you. And we're going to be stitching single crochets in the back loops. So we're going to go just in this back loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. By stitching in the back loops only, it's going to form a nice stretchy band. After we've done three single crochets stitching in the back loop only, we're going to chain one and turn. And throughout the band of our hat, the chain one will not count as a single crochet. It is merely a turning chain. And so we're going to continue to stitch one single crochet in each single crochet chain one and turn. Now the amount of rows that you will do this depends on the size that you are making. If you are making a baby size like we are, you'll continue this for a total of 42 rows. If you are making the toddler size, you'll do 48 rows. If you're doing the child size, you will stitch 54 rows. If you're stitching the youth size, you'll do 60 rows. And if you're stitching the adult size, you will stitch 76 rows. So we will continue to stitch one single crochet. Whoops, yarn had a little tangle. In each single crochet, chain one and turn for as many rows needed for the size that we're making. Now we're making a baby hat. So we're only going to do a total of 42 rows. One single crochet in each of the three single crochets across, working in the back loops, chain one, and turn. I've stitched my 42 rows across. Now I need to make it into a band, so we're going to take the end and the beginning and put them together. And we're going to stitch three single crochets across. So I'm going to go through the first single crochet and then the first chain on the other end and stitch a single crochet. And I'll do that in the next one going through both thicknesses and then the last one. So I stitched three single crochets in order to make it into a band. All right, now we're just going to push that extra string inside to get it out of our way where we started and we'll weave that in later. Now let's chain one, two, because we're going to be stitching one half double crochet in each of the tops of the rows around. Now this part can be a little confusing, so I'll make sure that you understand. You need to stitch one half double crochet in each stitch around the top of the band. Now you're going to have bumps on both sides. So make sure you put a stitch in the top of each one. And let me show you. Let me get that string out of the way there. A half double crochet, you yarn over 
we're going to go through the first bump and pull that loop through yarn over and go through all three of those stitches yarn over and now our next stitch is not the next bump here it's the next bump on this side and basically you're going to be stitching a stitch in a bump and then between the bump because you want to have the same amount of half double crochet uh, stitches as you did in your row in other words for the baby hat we want to have 42 half double crochet stitches around so I'm going to go in that space between and stitch a half double crochet then I'm going to go in that next stitch at the end of that row and stitch a half double crochet then I'm going to go in that in between those next two bumps which puts me at the bump on this side we'll do this all the way around make sure that you have the same amount of stitches for this half double crochet row that you had rows around my I stitched 42 rows for my band and now I need 42 half double crochets yarn over go in pull up a loop yarn over go through all three of those loops and we'll do this all the way around the band and then we'll join back to the top of that chain two where we started on this row. I stitched my half double crochets all the way around and then I joined to the top of the chain two with a slip stitch. And if you're not sure what a slip stitch is, let me show you real quick. Get my needle back in there. There we go. Here's the top of my chain two. You just put your hook through, draw a loop through, and then draw that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. That's called a slip stitch. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And this row, we're basically making change, chains <laughs> and slip stitches. The way it's going to work, we chained three. We're going to skip the next two and then chain three again. So here's our chain three. We're going to skip one, two. We're going to slip stitch in the next stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Then we'll do it again. We'll skip these next two stitches and slip stitch in the next stitch. one two three skip the next two stitches and slip stitch in the next and we're going to do this all the way around our hat and this is just giving us loops where we're going to stitch the next row in skip two stitches and slip stitch in the next stitch one two three <laughs> there we go and that's the way it's going to look for this row chain three skip two slip stitch in the next chain three skip two slip stitch in the next all the way around and then we'll just join <clears throat> to this first slip stitch with a slip stitch I did my chain three, skip two, slip stitch all the way around, and then I joined with the slip stitch to my first slip stitch. For this next row, <clears throat> we're gonna go right in this first loop that we made with our chain three and stitch a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're gonna stitch two more double crochets because this first chain three counts as our first double crochet. So to stitch a double crochet, <clears throat> yarn over, 
go right in that loop and pull up a loop onto your hook. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the second two. And that's a double crochet. So our chain three counted as our first double crochet and then we stitch two more double crochets. So now what we're going to do is in each of these chain three loops, we're going to stitch three double crochets. So here's our next one. We're going right in that chain three loop that we made. There's the next one. Now we'll go to the next one and stitch three double crochets. And that's the way that this row will work. In each one of the chain three chains that we made all the way around the hat, we're going to stitch three double crochets. Then when we get back around, we're going to uh, join to the top of our chain three. Now these rows are the same for um, every size, the chain three, the three double crochets, and then the next row will all be the same for all the hats. Um, it'll just be different for the sizes because you'll have more clusters or more chains. And on the next row, we're doing V stitches. Um, you'll have more if your hat is bigger since this is a baby size hat. So keep that in mind when you're working your hat. If you're making a bigger size, of course, you're going to have more stitches. So we're going to stitch three double crochets in each of the chain three chain spaces around the hat for this row and then we'll join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. I stitched three double crochets in each one of the chain three spaces all the way around, I join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch. So for this next row, we're going to slip stitch in the next double crochet, and this should put us at the center of the first three double crochets. Of course, there's our chain three that counted as our first double crochet, and then we have th two more double crochets for a total of three. And we're going to be stitching in the second one so we did one slip stitch over to begin with. We're going to chain three. Counts as our first double crochet and then we're going to chain one more because we need a chain one. So we have four chains. Counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And now we're going to double crochet in that same double crochet and this is going to give us our first V stitch. Chain four counts as a double crochet, chain one, and then we double crocheted in that same double crochet. Now we're going to go to the next three double crochet clusters and in that center double crochet we're going to place a double crochet chain one and double crochet. And you can see that's forming V stitches. And we'll do this all the way around this row. So we'll go to the next three double crochet cluster. We'll stitch a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in that center double crochet. And this is the way this row is worked all the way around. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet is a V-stitch. And we're working that in the second double crochet or the center double crochet of each 
cluster of three double crochets around our hat. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And then we'll work all the way around and again we'll join to the top of the chain three, not the chain four because that chain four counts as a chain one. So we'll join to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. I stitched my row of V-stitches. I joined to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch. Now this next row, we're going to be doing what we did down here, slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch, chain three, only we're going to be doing this in the chain one spaces of our V-stitches. So the first thing that we need to do is to slip stitch in this first, or the first one on our row, V-stitch, chain one space, so we're just going to slip stitch, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then we'll go to the next V-stitch in that chain one space and stitch a slip stitch and chain three. One, two, three. Then we'll go to our next V-stitch and stitch a slip stitch and chain three. One, two, three. We'll do this all the way around our hat till we reach back around like we did on this other row and join to that first slip stitch. One, two, three. Slip stitch in the chain one of the V stitch all the way around and chain three. So I did my slip stitches, chain three, slip stitch in each of my V stitches. And now my hat is ready to repeat. And the way this hat works <clears throat> is in each of these chain three spaces, you're gonna stitch three double crochets like we did here. And then you'll stitch a row of V stitches. And then you'll stitch another row of slip stitch, chain three, slip stitch. And that's the three row repeat. For the baby size, you'll repeat this one more time. For the toddler size, you'll also repeat this only one more time. For the child size, you'll repeat it two times. For the youth and adult size, you'll repeat these three rows three more times. Now, <clears throat> if you're making this for an adult with a shorter head, you may only want to repeat it twice, but if you're maybe making it for a child with a longer head, repeat it more than two times. It's up to you and the hat you're making for which child. So that's again where the pattern is set a certain way, but it's also important to measure the length of the head that you're making this for. And keep in mind, yarn is stretchy. Okay, when you're making a hat for anyone, it's important to keep that in mind. So since we're making the baby hat, I'm going to repeat these three rows, the three double crochets in the chain three spaces, then the V-stitches, and then this row of slip stitches with chains in between one more time. So I repeated those rows one more time. Remember, this is for the baby hat and the toddler size. You only repeat one more time. For the child size, you're going to repeat another time. And then for the adult, uh, the adult and youth size, you'll need to repeat three times. But again, it's up to the size of the head that you're making. Once we've done the repeat, we're going to repeat this row again. So we're going to chain three and stitch two double crochets in that first chain three space. And then we'll, we'll do this all the way around. And 
And this is going to give us three double crochets in each of the chain three spaces all the way around, just like we did on these other rows uh, of three double crochets clustered together. We'll do this all the way around and we'll join back to our chain three. So I finished this row of stitching three double crochets in each of the chain three spaces and this is the last row and I really like the way this hat is turned out with the stitching. All right, so the last row that we're going to make is just a single crochet row and this is going to give us something to close and sew up the hat. So we're going to chain one and we're just going to place one single crochet in each of the double crochets around. One single crochet in each double crochet around the top of the hat and then we'll join back to that first single crochet with a slip stitch and then I'll show you how to sew closed the top of your hat. I stitched a row of single crochets, joined to the first single crochet with a slip stitch, and now I'm, I pulled a nice big loop because I'm going to turn my hat wrong side out. And I'm going to take my yarn that I'm working with and pull it through and then we're going to take that hat and lay it flat. Here's my loop. <clears throat> Put my hook in that loop and basically we're going to slip stitch the two sides together. So we're going to go through the first stitch on this side and the first stitch on the other side pull a loop through and slip stitch. We'll do this all the way across and I do think it's better if you do not stitch it too tightly. You don't want the top of your hat, that yarn over there, <laughs> almost out of yarn, we don't want the top of the hat to pucker. We want it to lay nicely so make sure when you go through you're not pulling too tightly and we're just slip stitching going through both sides, sewing the top of our hat closed. Once you've stitched all the way across, cut your yarn we go. Oh, your little string in there. There we go. Tie off and weave in that end. You definitely do not want your hat to come untied when it's going through the laundry or something. So let's make a few stitches. And what I like to do when I'm tying off is to go one way and then go up a stitch and go back the other. If I have enough yarn, I'll go back the other way, but if I don't, I don't. There we go. We'll just stretch that out a little, and then we'll flip our hat over. So there's the hat. Let's get our corners out, because that's what this hat's all about. So there's the little hat, but now it needs some little pom-poms. I added one pom-pom and I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom just a real simple easy way. For this hat I'm wanting smaller pom-poms. If you want to make the hat bigger you can choose other things that will work. Now I'm going to use my hand and I'm going to wrap the yarn around my fingers. And I'm going to do this about maybe 20, 25 times. Now, if you're making a bigger pom-pom or you want it fuller, 
you can do as many wraps as you want to. So here is what I'm going to use for my pom-pom. And then I'm going to cut another string about 10 or 12 inches long. And then I'm going to take this wrapped pom-pom and set it right on top of that string. Kind of flatten it down. <clears throat> there we go. And then I'm going to take my string and just ease it in and tie it tight. Tie a second knot. And just for good measure, because we don't want it to come undone, I'm going to tie a third knot. If you're concerned that that knot is going to come undone, you can add a dab of fray check or even a little dab of hot glue if you want it to keep from coming undone. But I think three knots is plenty. Then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut all those loops. Let's do the other side. And yes, you're going to have a little bit of a mess. Looks like I got a few more in there. All right, so once I've got all my loops cut, I'm going to pull it down like this, hold it tight, and then cut across. And this is why your scissors need to be nice and sharp. Okay, so then I'm going to let it go, I'm going to floof it out, and then I'm going to take a look at it. See if there's any loops that didn't get cut or any pieces that I think are sticking out too long. And I'll just give it a little bit of a haircut. I kind of like my pom-poms a little bit um, less round. <clears throat> but if you want a nice big thick pom-pom, just continue to keep wrapping until it's nice and thick. But I just want a small pom-pom for this hat. I'll have to come back and get the rest of this mess in a minute. All right, so to put it onto our hat, I'm just going to take my hook and go inside. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab one of those original strings and pull that in. Oops, and then I'm going to go back in that corner and grab the other one. All right, so let's look inside the hat. There's those two strings. I'm going to pull them up snugly. And I tie three knots. I tie one, two, and then I put the two strings together and do a little loop knot around so that both the strings are caught. And sometimes I'll even tie it another one like that because I don't want my pom-pom to come off. There we go. Make sure that's nice and tight. That one string doesn't want to pull. There we go. And then we'll cut those long strings off. And poof, there's a pom-pom. <laughs> and that's how we make our pom-pom hat, our sherbet sack hat. <laughs> <laughs>